<laughs> hey, I'm Jacob Norby. Drop my book there. Um, I want to ask you a question today. What would change in your life if you had full access to your creativity? I'm asking that for a reason. Because uh, last year, the World Economic Forum came out and did this massive study. Tons of data, millions of people, and they do this every five years. And they come back with, with a report that gives the top 10 job skills needed to survive and thrive. So they said in 2020, creativity moved from the bottom of the list up to number three. Well, that really got my attention because these are big money, big finance, big economics. And I thought, wow, if they're starting to notice that creativity is so important, not just for artists and inventors and high fashion and design, but for all of us, um, I'd like to know why we don't know more about this. So I did a study with 10,000 people, sent out a question, what's your greatest creative challenge? And tons of people responded. And 74.3% of people said, I doubt my talents and abilities. I don't think I'm good enough. Once again, got my attention. I was right in the middle of writing my new book titled The Creative Cure, How Finding and Freeing Your Inner Artist Can Heal Your Life. And I think I was in draft four or five, and this began to really inform what I wrote about, how I approached the question, because to me, it no longer became an issue so much of trying to get people to be more creative. The question was, how can we change our beliefs about creativity? How can we redefine it or expand the definition so that we ha all have access to it? And so, as I just mentioned, I have this new book coming out, and it's time to start promoting it, time to start offering it. And generally speaking, I've been part of many, many book launches and releases. What happens is we ask people, hey, buy my book, pre-order my book. Well, I'd like to do something a little bit different this time because I don't feel like this is a solitary effort where you buy my book or pre-order it and then read it and hopefully it makes some change. I would love to invite you right now to be part of this exploration with me, to join me in what I've come to see as a really inner revolution it starts where all change has to start and that's within so i've developed a upcoming webinar and what i would love to do is offer this to you as part of the various things i'll be offering as i begin to release this book because i don't see this as a me thing i see this as a we thing just like putting together a book sure the writer has to sit down and use his or her creativity and write this thing but it requires the talents and creativity of an entire team of people to bring a book forward. I feel exactly the same way about the world we're living in right now. There are so many challenges, so many problems, but you know, here's what I know, is that you are a highly creative person. Uh, as Julia Cameron, my friend, says, there is no such thing as an uncreative person. Everyone is creative. And what I've come to see is I've done this really important deep study is that your creative nature was there from the moment you were born and it will be there until you die and it's never about healing your creative nature it's a matter of healing the connection to it and that connection is what gets filled with static or it gets fractured or it loses some of its um, potency its clarity over time as we begin to become adults so what I would love for you to do is join me in this webinar where I'm going to share some things, some very practical, highly interactive exercises and practices from my new book. I'm going to give you really a, a sneak peek of what's inside, but more importantly, I would love to invite you as that first step into this entire practice of healing the connection to your creative self, your inner creative self, because what I've discovered in my own life, and this is battle-tested um, stuff here, the practices and, and the uh, exercises, these are things I use in my life every day. What I've discovered is that as I healed the connection to my creative self, I began to heal the rest of my life. Areas that you wouldn't necessarily think of as creativity or as needing to be creative in. Turns out creativity is the essential energy of life. It's like the sap in a tree or the blood in your body. It's meant to touch every single area of your life and it's meant to restore those areas that feel stuck or painful or lacking in art 
So I would love it if you want to join me. All you have to do is pre-order the book in any format. And rather than pay $49 to access this webinar, just put your name and email and your receipt, your online receipt number for pre-ordering. Put that in below and that'll automatically generate you then a free pass um, into this webinar. And what's going to happen after that is I'll offer some other ways to connect with me and other people who are involved in this question together. So if you would like to explore the question, what would change in my life if I had full access to my creativity, then I would love it if you'll join me and lots of other people in asking it together and begin to develop that question. All right, so I hope you'll join me and uh, I'll talk to you soon.